people of the purple butterfly here coming at you again with something a little bit different. I have a blog at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and I'm people seven on Twitter and YouTube, people elsewhere on the internet. And I come to talk to you about cleaning out your sinuses. It's called a nose bidet. It looks like this. This one's full, so let's find one that isn't. Hold on. Well, I was going to show you mom's, but apparently she's put hers up. The thing about a nose bidet, when you get one of these, is personal. It's like your toothbrush. Don't let someone borrow it. That's how mom got her. She goes, can you set me up your nose bidet? And I went, uh. And she goes, all my sinuses are clogged up. So I set it up for her. Then I bought myself another one. Anyway, if you're a little congested or your sinuses are giving you grief or if you just want to keep them clear, like when you sense something's coming on, you want to clear out your sinuses with a nose bidet. You're going to use a half teaspoon of salt. Or you could buy um, salt packets that are already, you know, measured out and everything. Then all you got to do is put the water in. Um, what I've done, because, well, I've been doing this for years. So I once filled up my neti pot and marked where the water level was, as you can see on there. And then I filled it up again and marked it again. So that way, if I want to just make a double batch, because I always rinse one side, then rinse the other, then I can mix up however amount of salt I need along with the water. That also prevents me from getting the water too hot. You want your water warm, but you don't want it scalding. Um, if you put it on your hand, it should feel almost lukewarm. And you don't want it too cold because that constricts, you know, your nasal passages. But anyway... I'm going to do this live and in person. That's why my gear is going the opposite direction here. Because I've already did the right side. Now I'm going to do the left side. And I'm going to move my cords over. So that way they don't enjoy a nice bath with the water as well. So, oh, also, after you're done, you're going to lean over and clear out the sciences with a good, healthy blow. That part you are not going to see on camera, okay? I'll let you know now. Some things I think are very personal. This is one of them, but since people keep asking me what I mean by doing an eddy pot, I'm going to show you as much as I feel comfortable showing and explain the rest. Now, to start, you're going to lean forward, which is why my camera is there, and you're going to tilt your head at a 45-degree angle, and then you pour um, from one nostril, until it comes out the other. You're going to breathe through your mouth. I'm going to turn on this light so you can actually see. You're going to continue to breathe through your mouth and not your nose, and you're going to resist the temptation to breathe through your nose while you're doing this because your nasal passages, hello, air, if you breathe through your nose, you're going to drown. We don't want to drown. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Now, I'll try to pour a little bit of my water out if it's overly full. And let me get my cords out the way so you can see. And I put it here, tilt my face, and then I very carefully lift it up. And I'm not going to be talking while I do this, okay? You see how it comes out the other side? It's a slow process. Also, try not to swallow while you're doing this, like I just did. And then you get salt water all in the back of your throat. And you will notice some days this will go fast and some days it will go slow. It depends on if there's any obstruction in your nasal passages. And when it's empty, you lean forward at the waist at a 45 degree angle as it were and then you just give yourself a clear it out of your sizes i'm going to cover my microphone up so you don't hear that <sighs> and 
and you are done. And that's using a neti pot. And as you could tell, it's empty. All of the water that was in here, approximately seven ounces, went into my nose, into my sinus cavity, and out the other side of my nose. And then when I'm done with that, I do the other side. But since I already did the other side, I'm done. Now all I gotta do is wash my neti pot. You're going to rinse it out very well with plain water, hot water, or you know, just like the salt you use to clear your sinuses, you can use salt water to clean it. If you use um, like dish soap or shampoo or something to clean it, make sure you clear out all the residuals thoroughly because otherwise the next time you do your, you know, neti pot or your nasal wash, you're going to leave those residuals in your sinuses, which is exactly what you do not want because that will leave an irritation and your body will react to that irritation by putting mucus on top of the irritation, which is partly what causes the problem. This rinses away pollen, dust, um, anything that might have gotten into your sinuses that caused the issue, which is why you do it. And, well, yes, my hair is done, but whenever I do something to my face, my eyes, my nose, I always cover my hair because it tends to, you know, and the last thing I want is something to strain from my nose and my hair. <laughs> okay, there's a visual you did not need, right? Anyway, this is the P plus 7 on Twitter and YouTube and people are elsewhere on the internet. Yes, I cracked me up. And my blog is located at purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com. And y'all stay blessed. Bye now.